What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. For the first time in a while, at least solo wise, Lloyd Banks has returned with a new mixtape, um, Halloween Havoc 2. It came out November 1st. For some reason, you know, he started teasing it on Halloween, but it was late and it didn't surface until a whole day later. But honestly, you can't really complain about, you know, Lloyd Banks material. You gotta appreciate it because it's so rare. Um, it's interesting, like, how much. Lloyd Banks doesn't really exist within, like, our industry. Like, he's in, like, a whole world of his own when it comes down to, like, everything. He doesn't collaborate with big producers. He rarely does, like, features. Like, for big artists and for, like, you know, little small names that might, you know, want to work with him. Um, you know, he doesn't really tour too much, at least in the U.S. Um, he doesn't do interviews. Like, when was the last time you seen a Lloyd Banks interview? He just kind of, like exists over in this place and then when he feels like it he comes back into hip-hop and like drops some really dope material and it makes you wish that you got more out of Lloyd Banks but that's what makes Lloyd Banks you know him he he lives by this like motto like the old motto of you know hip-hop where you know you drop a project and you know you, you don't just drop another one you know a couple months later that's how Lloyd Banks operates, and you know I still appreciate that because he drops quality every single t every single time, and it makes sense like why Kanye called him one of the the best. You know, uh, he said he was a top five MC in 2010, and I still think that rings true today. He's one of the sharpest lyricists. Um, Halloween Havoc Two, you know, pretty much continues to confirm that. Um, I love the the production on the mixtape is ridiculous. It it sounds like like kind of like a horror movie in a sense like the production is real dark and gritty like if you strip down like monument um that definitely sounds like it has like a a horror element to it um but a lot of all the production is very dark and it fits into like lloyd banks's you know his flow and his his style um out of like the out of the 13 songs i definitely had to highlight three in general uh take your pick dedicated and angel dust um take your pick man the second verse on that is ridiculous um it's probably like the best verse on the project and that's saying you know off of you know a couple impressions but not overall because it could change as soon as i like start listening to it again i could start listening to it as i edit this video and i'll hear another verse i'm like that was even crazier than that one. That's, that's you know, how Lloyd Banks does it. He packs so much into his material. But like I said, the only thing that I hate about the mixtape thus far is how short it is. It's only 37 minutes. But also, like, knowing it's not going to, it's going to be a long time before we get more Lloyd Banks. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, a couple months. I'm talking about we might not get another Lloyd Banks project until you know, next October, next November, maybe even not even next. I don't, I don't even remember his last, you know, mixtape. I think it was, I don't even know if it was 2014. It might have been 2013. But, you know, and like besides the g stuff, he's been very scarce. Um, so I got three questions for you guys. Uh, where does Lloyd Banks rank on, you know, a, a top MC's list after hearing this tape? Does he move up higher? Does he stay in the same place? Is he even... Do you, as a fan, even consider him, you know, a top MC? Um, another thing. Do you like that, you know, he works with a lot of low-key producers? Like, you know, more up-and-coming producers as opposed to, like, you know, bringing in, like, a Swiss Beats or, or you know, somebody that has a, a name recognition to him. Do you like that? Or, you know, do you feel like it... it hinders his you know production um lastly what happened to the g-unit reunion i just i was excited for it. i was excited for another album even in the even though they included kid kid i was like okay this works because kid kid's not a bad rapper when he was next to you know the g-unit members and then all of a sudden after their ep this past march it just kind of came to a stop and, you know, they haven't put out any remixes, they haven't worked together, haven't, I don't believe they've toured. So it kind of just feels like, like when Dipset reunited, but at least we got more material out of G-Unit than we did when that Dipset reunion happened. So I would like to know what happened to the G-Unit reunion. Um, 
So, my closing statement, you know, Lloyd Banks isn't the most consistent MC, but he always makes sure that he delivers whenever he drops a project. Um, you know, simply because of his absence most of the time, his music is more appreciated, and I feel like it has a longer shelf life because of that. And, you know, he still operates as if this was the 90s, and it's less, you know, quantity, and it's more about quality. And that's something that anybody... Any fan of music can, you know, enjoy and appreciate. And that's why Lloyd Banks, you know, is one of the, the, the best lyricists in the industry. Because he opts for quality over quantity. Even if we would love a little bit more quantity out of him. Um, but let me know your thoughts on Halloween Havoc 2 in the comment section below. And when you're done, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.